Hello everyone, welcome back to Celeste Strawberry Jam. Last time, we did Pinball Purgatory. We did the hardest, most notorious for being hardest, Celeste Strawberry Jam Cracked Grandmaster level of all time. I know there's only four in the running, but yeah, we did it. And today, we're gonna go into another Cracked level. Hopefully it'll be easier. Apparently some people find some of these harder than Pinball Purgatory. I can imagine finding it more tedious. I don't know if it'll be harder. We'll see. But yes, we're going to definitely save Solar Express for last. Of the other two, Ivory and Nalumbo, I don't know. Whichever one we find first, we're going to do first. Now, based on hints that people have said, I'm guessing Nalumbo is a Theo level. Or, you know, equivalent level. So I'm slightly worried about that because, you know, back boosts. Hey look, a level we haven't done yet. It's Ivory by Linge. We're gonna do Ivory today. And just a reminder, on Patreon the nominations are open for which mod I do between the Cracked Levels and the Grandmaster. So if you want to get on that, there are two more videos, including this one. One more after this one, unless it's a short level, in which case this is the last one. So if you want to nominate, you can go to Patreon. If you want to vote, Go to Patreon soon, because the voting will be open soon. Let's go into Ivory! Ooh, I like the opening. It is kind of crazy to remember that this is still the same collab as all those beginner levels and intermediate levels. And to me, Intermediate and Advanced are the same lobby. I cannot separate them in my mind. I don't remember which levels are from which. Ivory is designed with difficult button inputs in mind. All right. So it's going to be like dash, demo, jump, demo, hold the grab buttons while demoing and jumping at the same time. Yes. Should you have trouble with the amount of inputs, know that rebinding controls is perfectly acceptable or even recommended for certain optional rooms. Okay. All back boosts are intended to be done as late as possible. Okay. This is going to be the hard level. You don't have to collect the touch switches. They simply serve as guides where to go. Okay. Dream double jumps are not required if you know what those are. Okay. Does that mean it's easier if I use them? Because I know how to use them. Crowley scales! Enter fast. What do you mean enter fast? Does that give you more of a boost on the other side? I guess it probably does. Okay, we do an um, ultra into the boost into another ultra. Now somebody said that if you just press the demo button as you exit, you get... Wait. What just happened? Oh, I was holding diagonal. Somebody said that if you just press the demo button as you exit a dream block, you get a dream hyper. That is not the case, as you can see. I am pressing it as I exit. I think they meant, probably meant you have to press jump at some time, but they left that out of the comment, and I'm confused. Anyway, let's look and see what this room has for us. So we're doing an ultra. Oh, hey, Shadowline's still there. Ooh, that's quite... Okay, it's a double correction, so there's actually a rather large window of pixels there. Oh! Also, you see the, the ices below? That's a very large window of pixels. Okay, that's nice. So we're getting our Ultra through here. It looks like we have to dash twice. Accelerate. Huh? Do the dream I think the dream blocks must work differently in this level than usual. So what's Shadowline doing here? Is she getting a Goltra through here? Where is she? Come on. No, just dashing through. Oh, maybe accelerate means means uh, you can dash while inside the dream block? Then we go up here, we bubble into it, we get some um, back boosts. The bane of my existence. So, 
We are bubbling into there. Jumping out. Yeah, just jumping out. Oh, no. Jumping and dashing into the into the jellyfish. Then back boosting. Then back boosting. And then using our last dash to dash upward here. And then we fly up. Do we need a back boost? A redirect. Yeah, we're probably going as fast as really fast through here too. And I don't think that you can upward boost by throwing a jellyfish downward, so we just like hold the grab button and fly through here. And then do a uh, yeah. Do exactly what Shadowline's doing. All right. All right. Let's see how well, long it takes us. Uh, gotta, gotta do the... Gotta do that. I'm not pressing it fast enough. There we go. I lost my speed. Oh yeah, this is why they tell you that dream double jumps are not necessary, because then you'd be trying them after these. Wow. Yeah, that was it. I pressed it inside the dream block. I gotta jump out the other side. And not not ultra on the other side. There we go. Now you need all of that space to get the to get the wall bounce properly. No. Yeah. All right, so I found out that if you are dashing down diagonally here, it's just as good as if you're holding right, which is nice because that means I don't have to do a diag diagonal right diagonal because doing that this fast is hard. I can already tell this one's going to wreak havoc on my thumb. Be bad for the nerves. Hey, I made it and then somehow went the wrong direction. Don't know if I'll be able to spend two hours of playtime a day on this one. There we go. I wonder if they want me to accelerate in the midst of other ones. Like, I probably should try to accelerate inside this one since I'm not dashing, right? And uh, if, if it's not necessary, then it'll give me some extra speed in case I don't do the back boosts properly. Ooh, back boosts. Made it. I made it to the other side of the dream block. Uh, right, right, right. I have to jump out and dash upright into the jellyfish. Wait, while I'm dashing inside the dream block, am I losing my dash? I think I am. Yeah, I lost my dash. I believe I need to keep a dash past the end of those jellyfishes, right? Yeah. Okay. So she's at least jumping out of here. So we gotta watch her as she comes back. Is she dashing in the middle of the dream block or doing a dream hyper? I could not tell. I think I'd be fine if I dash in the middle of the block. I got one. How did I lose my dash? All my dashes. You know what? Let's try dashing up diagonal into it instead of uh, accelerating inside the dream block. I don't think that's going to work. Dream hypering doesn't work. I do like the music. I haven't commented on that yet. Fits well, and I like the background too. Wait, somehow I'm... Okay, I'm going to count dashes. Okay, okay, I see. If I use the dash inside the dream block, it only expends it if I have a double dash. So I use a dash inside there, if I use it in here, I don't have a double on the other side. So, okay, what I'm saying is, when I go through this dream block, if I use my dash inside the dream block, I have a dash on the other side. If I don't use my dash inside the dream block, I obviously have a dash on the other side. But if I use one of these dashes inside the dream block, I do not have 
two dashes on the other side. I only have one, which suggests that this one wants you to use both dashes on the other side. Hmm. I tried jumping out of the dream block and didn't work. Maybe let's try dream hypering again. That might be it if I can back boost. No, I'm still not making it. Oh, right, you can redirect while inside the... <laughs> Alright, so I looked up a few videos and it looks like when people get here, they're dashing twice inside the dream block. They're like, uh, dashing as soon as they get the crystal and then dashing again right before the end and ending up with another dash. Which is kind of crazy, and I don't see any suggestions for doing that here. But I'll probably, assuming that the input display, assuming I read it correctly, that's how you do it. Yeah, so I dashed twice there, and it made me go faster. That's how it's done. Jeez, I never would have thought of that. I made one of the back boosts. Maybe the number of times you're allowed to dash inside a dream block is given by the number of crystals that is, is given by the crystal. Because I tried, I tried dashing twice, uh, if I can get there, I tried dashing twice through there and it didn't work. Got two. Okay, this back boost should be easier because you're going pretty slowly with it. Okay, so this suggests I want to... Okay, there's a double crystal here and a single crystal there. It suggests I want to use one dash. I want to get in, use a dash to accelerate, go upward, get another crystal, dash, and then just hold grab and do some wall bounces. I think that as, if I can get here, this part will probably be fine. Dang! Come on! Yes! No! Made it. Uh. Uh. Hmm. I really do think I need to be high enough in order to get the wall bounce. You know what? I should probably wait until I am far enough to the right that I get corner corrected left. Because my problem before is I have been uh, wall bouncing, like dashing upward, and then. Uh, not jumping off of this wall, but jumping off of a different wall and like bonking my head to make myself go lower, I think. Or I just need better back boosts during this part. Which is really hard. Back boosts are my most difficult grandmaster. I have a feeling back boosts are so much easier on the keyboard. But my problem is, I have not practiced through all the different difficulty levels with the keyboard. I have practiced through all the different difficulty levels with the controller. If I switch to the keyboard now, I'll be like a... <laughs> be like an intermediate. Got it! Uh No! Closer! Yes! I made it a little bit farther. A little bit farther. I knew what I had to do too. I needed to dash upward. Yes! Oh no! <laughs> so I figured out the key to the triple back boost is you have to let go of the first one as far to the right as you possibly can. The first one is the most important because its effects multiply throughout the others. Alright, I think I'm done for today. I feel myself getting better. I have gotten to... I've gotten past the three back boosts uh, a lot more frequently within the past few minutes, and I have confidence that I'll be able to beat this level tomorrow. See you then. Day two. I think I can do it this time. I think I can do it today. Yesterday, I got better. Even though back boosts are my most challenging Grandmaster tech, I got better at it yesterday, and I got to the final section a couple times, which hopefully I remembered to talk and put in. Yeah, I got all the way over to here a couple times. Even got past these jellyfish once, accidentally didn't grab them. But yeah, this part, if you watch the shadow line, this doesn't look bad. You just, like, 
hold grab here and then do a wall bounce, hold grab, wall bounce, hold grab. Uh, you could probably do it without even letting go of grab. So, especially uh, um, if shadow line is slow like that, it probably means it's not going to be too bad. All right. I would give my odds of beating this screen today at 90%. Also, many of you told me, many of you told me that I have this setting backwards. That this state, that save time and death should be off. Because then, the if it's on, the save state saves. See, I saved it at 132.07. And now it does not save the time, which means the time continues. <laughs> and so do the deaths. Why didn't the deaths appear? Hmm. Oh well. Uh, undo the save state. Okay. I am ready to beat this level. Oh yeah, there there was room over here, wasn't there? Dang. Oh no, I have to dash again. Oh, but I figured out a strat. On that second wall bounce, you want to go for the walls on the left because that'll correct you uh, to the right. And for me, it's much more consistent to get a wall bounce if I do that. If I try to get a wall bounce off of the correction on the right, then oftentimes it doesn't even give me a wall bounce. It just kind of gives me a wall jump. There we go! <laughs> Very next try. Conspiracy! What's over here? Oh! Death. Okay, let's take a look. Oh man, guys, I beat the first room of Ivory. <laughs> it only took me almost two hours! Okay. Let's take a look at this one. So there's a, also a battle line down there. For some reason. So, uh, let's just, uh, you know, just for fun. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Nope, oh, come back here. No! I was gonna try to take a jellyfish down and get the battle line. I wonder if I can actually just get to her. Ha! No. No, I don't think I can. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe that's the end of the room. Maybe we want to get battle on and she throws us up to the next room. What's this? Oh, we get an extra jump. Okay. So, yeah, we cannot take the jellyfishes out of their designated areas. Okay, I think this is probably where the end of the room is. <laughs> there is a battle line below us, though. I'm very curious about that. You know, like, could I? What if I like get a C pop? You know, <laughs> if I can just like. Oh, if only I had another dash. Hmm. Let's see if I can just if I can. If there's anything I can do. Not off this side, that's for sure. Uh, maybe as I was finishing the level before this. Uh, hey! Nope. Nope, I don't think I can. Yeah, that's not happening. All right, let's just beat the room. So we got keys. Maybe there is a... Okay, there's a key in a cage. Huh? What is... Oh, redirect. Right, right, right. Redirect. Okay. So this area is all about building up speed. So there's a key. There's a key. Where's the last... Is that... Are those the only keys? So what if I get the keys? And, uh... What if I just get the keys? I can't. 
indicator. So maybe they're not for anything. Hmm. Maybe they're just to help you do stuff, but why would there be indicator keys? Instead of indicator... Well, maybe they just don't, didn't want to put assets on the background with a sky level like this. Okay. Oh no, it's gone! <laughs> you can only use it once. Alright. So what do we want to do? A follow shadow line. Where are you going? Okay, we start by going right. She probably came over here, right? So we start by going right. Um, th there you go. Bounce, and then go up there and to the right, and then do an ultra, and it seems to work. All right, let's see if we can catch Shadow Line coming this way. There we are. Okay, let's figure it out. So we start with a, um, a Goltra, and grab it and jump, and then we do an Ultra and do a Goltra, and then we do an Ultra and do a Goltra, and then we, we do it again, and then we turn around and we get um, a jump out of it, and we're flying. We probably go through here. Let's watch. Nope, we go through the dream blocks and we jump and we jump and then we get it and then we bounce and it gives us an up arrow. It gives us a jump. We gotta figure out where to use that. So let's watch her as she comes over here. I think I saw it. So we jump, we bounce and then we jump right there where the jellyfish is. So we can get up here. Dash up, dash straight, jump out into an ultra and then win. All right, I think we can do it. Just had to check to make sure I was recording. All right, great start. Jellyfish, come back. Dang it. You gotta go faster. Um, yeah. Something like that, but faster. We gotta make sure to get the Ultra, which means not dash again immediately. All right, that's sort of the right idea. Just do it right. We gotta get the Goltra into this dream block. So actually, this, this part, and then we gotta we gotta do it again. Gotta make sure, gotta try to... I don't know if I want to buffer the dash to get a Goltra. I think I want to slide for a frame. What am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to... Di I'm supposed to get... A Goltra? Right, right, right. I can do that. Okay, okay. So... Yeah. So I can... I can, I don't need to get an Ultra to get a Goltra. Just like, like this, like this. So I can buffer the dash. Just like that and then gotta turn around. Oh, I don't know if I have to jump after this. I just grab it and then dash again. Wait, let's test with the first, first jellyfish. I do have to, I do have to jump after this one but maybe not for the next jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't have to jump after getting this one. Yeah, and then I gotta turn around. So when I come out of this dream block, I have to dash four times. Once in the air, once before the jellyfish, once after the jellyfish, and then once in the dream block. And I believe these dream block dashes don't have a cooldown, so as soon as I get into the dream block, I can I can turn around and dash again and jump out. Kind of like that. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I don't think I have to let go of grab at all in this room. So in order to keep my finger from getting sore, I'm gonna do the the grab mode toggle. So I should press it. Now I'm grabbing. 
Oh yeah, so much easier. I'll have to, I have to do it every time. Okay, I need to, I need to jump and then I need to dash again. I forgot what I need to do. So let's take another look again. So we're dashing this way and then we jump out and then dash straight, I think. And we're here. Yeah, and then the up stuff. Yeah, I made it here, but didn't I uh, forgot to dash. Oh yeah, progress. Twice in a row. Yeah! Oh, dang. <gasps> Did you see that? Did you see that? I almost got to battle line. You can get to battle line like that. I'm gonna do it. Hmm. I'm too fast somehow. No, almost. I had a jump. Yeah. Oh, battle line. Did you go somewhere? No. Okay. I guess I'm not going up there with you. Unless... Hmm? Nah. I mean, I gotta try it, right? Crap. Now battle line's back down there. Oh well. Um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look to see if there is anything up there. Hey, I got a celebration for coming in here. <laughs> nope, nothing up here. Okay, I'm not missing out. Oh right, I have to jump after that. Nice to remember. All right, got some progress. Just to remind myself what to do after that, I just dash straight to the right, and then uh, jump and do an ultra afterward. I'm almost done with this room, guys. Hmm, somehow I lost my speed there. All right, made it up here. Oh, wow, you can just dash through some of the dirt blocks. Did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? No! I have no idea of knowing how close I was. I forgot to jump. I, mean, I didn't forget, but I wasn't able to. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Uh, I don't know how I can go faster than that. I wonder... Maybe I'm getting doing this wrong. Let's check Shadowline again. She appears, right? Yep. Going over there. And then do you get a corner boost right here? No. Oh, it doesn't use the jump right there. Okay. So maybe we still have the jump after this. And so we're going over here. Let's see if we can catch her on the ultra. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know if there's a, a jump there. Yeah, just kind of really, really, really good speed. Hmm. I thought she used the jump right here. Yeah, she does use the jump right there. Okay, so I'm doing it right. I just got to do it right. Oh, no! Oh man, I detoggled jump instead. I detoggled grab instead of grabbing. Oh no! So close. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, let's turn this option off. <laughs> it's so confusing. All right, I did it. I beat level two. Level one took two hours. Level two took 35 minutes. Hawthorne. 
Isn't that the name of a famous author? All right. Can I like get a wall bounce here? <laughs> That's not a very good one. Okay. So we want to like. Hmm. This is confusing. I wonder if we want to like get a some kind of an ultra with an upward boost or something. Yay! I am the best. Let's take a look. This lo this room is confusing so far. So there's that upward pushing platform. Oh, hey. Uh, how does it start again? Can you please restart so I can watch? All right, so we, we do a, a, a hyper, a hyper jump into there and then an ultra. Okay, <laughs> and we come back. So we start Start by going through here, getting the Gultra through there, uh, back boosts probably, and then we do a, probably a Gultra into those, and then we turn around and, I don't know, we've already got that, yep, bounce, okay, what do you do when you come back? Okay, the, the jellyfish comes back and we just go, 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 is that the end of the level? She disappeared. Yeah, this is the end of the level. We do not need to back boost again. We're just not allowed to take our jellyfish past there. Okay, this looks simple enough. It's pretty short too. We just gotta build up the speed. This level reminds me of Psychokinetic just from how fast we have to go. So yeah, let's plan. So we start by doing a, uh, a hyper into here into an ultra. And then we do a Goltra into here, dash to build up speed, jump out the other side, grab, do a do a back boost, and then just grab here, do another back boost, and then we have this, we have both a dash and a jump. So we're flying over here. Where should she use the dash? Right there. When we hit this sparkly, we use it to get an ultra speed thing. And then we bounce into here, or we land right, we land on the wooden platform and jump. Or wait, no, we land on the thing that raises, it looks like. Let's watch her come back again. Coming down, yeah. Yeah, she definitely lands on this thing. We do a dash. When we do the dash here, it raises this platform. We land on it, jump through here, and bounce around, grab the jellyfish, and then we're flying to the end. Cool. First move. All right, that's practice. Okay, we have to we have to dash diagonally when we hit the wooden. So we start by this diagonal straight, and then jump out the end and dash while we're in the dream block. Okay, and we have to start while the platform is low down. That's how we start. And this one, I think, again. We don't need to let go of grab at any time. So it might just be a good idea to hold it. Well, you can get up to this platform. And there's nothing up there, but we could get there. Yeah, there's no reason to, uh, to not toggle grab. So I'm gonna turn that on again. And uh, just remember when I get to the end with the jellyfish that my grab is toggled. That's the wrong one. And I have to remember not to be crouching when I'm on the other side. Somehow I'm crouching. Is it because... Is it because I'm da diagonally dashing when I... No, it's... Something's happening when I get out the other side. I'm crouching for some reason. I'm holding upright. How am I crouching when I get there? I don't like that. Oh, maybe it depends on, maybe it's based on where I press the dash button. So like if I, no, no. 
If I go in crouched, if I go in crouched, but if I go in straight, it doesn't matter where I press the dash button inside the dream block. So maybe I just have to be really good. No, I th I'm, tr I'm pressing straight, but I'm crouching when I get out. Yeah, even if I hold straight before I land, it still counts as crouching when I get out. I'm not able to grab the jellyfish. Oh, uh, no, I can't have this toggled on because I need to back boost. Duh. Yeah, I'm not sure how to not... I gotta experiment more, I guess. Because I'm just ducking whenever I get out of the dream block. Maybe, maybe the jump here has something to do with it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, there's a crystal there. So, I dash when I get out. That might help. Oh, I see, I see. The jellyfish are not respawning. They're just in the right place from the throwing for the back boosts. <laughs> wow, this room is going to be tough. Okay. I managed the correct sequence of buttons. Didn't get the back boost, of course. Hmm, I'm not getting high enough. Maybe I need to dash later, that's probably it. That was surprising. <laughs> dash straight through some of the grass. Oh, duh, I get a crystal. I dash again. All right, best so far. I'm surprised that my fingers were able to pick up this move, this button combination so, so quickly. Hmm, am I supposed to dash into that? I need to have a dash left over, right? I hit this one, get a back boost. Oh, well, if I get both back boosts correctly, it should work. I hit, I bounce off this, and then I dash into this one again, maybe? No. No. Let's watch. No, there's no dash there. We wait until th right after this back boost to dash. Hole. Hmm, I'm still not getting high enough. Oh, but I have a jump. I have a jump. Where does Shadowline user jump? Right there. Right there. At the wall. Alright, I got it. No! I gotta jump before the wall. I gotta grab it. Oh, man. Oh, man. This level's really fun. Makes me feel like a god gamer. Let's see, where exactly does she back boost? It's with the upper one, right? I think. I can't quite tell where she's back boosting. I can't tell, there's no shadow jellyfish. Just have to experiment. I will say, my thumb has slipped off the controller in this level more than any other level. Possibly more than all the other levels combined. Whew. Did I manage to back boost that second one? The last one? I might have. Didn't feel like it, but I might have. Dang it, I gotta do a diagonal. So I've got this pattern down. I do the ultra and then I dash down right, dash... Well, after the ultra. It's down right, dash right, jump, dash up right. And those dashes are all very, very fast after each other, like less than the time it takes to cool down. Oh no! Almost! Almost! Ooh, 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 ooh! Have I got it? Have I got it? Have I got it? Have I got it? Come on! Please! Back boost. Alright, am I fast enough? Am I fast enough? Come on, come on! No! I'm slowed down. There's the three in a row. Uh, I was almost there. Oh, you get your dash back when you bounce into these things. That's good to know. Come on, this is really, 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 really good. Ah, uh, there's a three in a row. Ah! Hey, I made it. I didn't think I was going to that time for some reason, but I did. Oh yeah, it was another another 20 minutes. <laughs>
Wow. I see you up here. Ascent? I'm supposed to go up? What is the point of down here? Oh! Boosted water boosting? Down left, dash, then up right, plus jump three times? Yay, I'm so good. You know what? I'm not going to worry about this one. I'm just going to look at it. What's this? To clear this gap, you'll need to jump thrice in rapid succession. Uh, I tried pressing the jump buttons. Due to design limits like pop-up time, it may be unfeasible to jump this quickly on many controllers. Consider binding multiple jump buttons. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. Is there something to... Is there a strawberry over there? I can't look. I'm not going to do it. My wrist hurts. I made it over here. So this is another indicators. Ow. I got to quit playing after that one. Ouch. I'm sore. But I beat three levels in one sitting. I beat three rooms in one sitting. After Pinball Purgatory, this level is easy. You know, maybe I will. That, there's no way. No way. Absolutely. Because <laughs> I have two jump buttons bound. I mean, what I could do is I could... That, that was terrible. <laughs> I could bind a bunch of jump buttons. I have the left bumper and A as jump. What happens if I bind, if I bind jump to, okay, um, I'm gonna need grab. So uh, left trigger, grab is this one, but then it, are the triggers bound to anything else? A journal, okay. Let's add this and let's add that. And then let's try just pressing all the buttons at once. <laughs> it worked! Guys, I got a berry in ivory. I was expecting to skip it. I was expecting to maybe come back and try it again tomorrow because I'm sore. But I just got it by binding every freaking button to jump. <laughs> I got like a quintuple boost because I just... You saw what I did. You saw... <laughs> <laughs> all these buttons are jump. I didn't press B, but I pressed all the others. All right, let's set the, reset this to reasonable. There we go. Okay, and that is enough for this play session. See you soon. Day three. We're ready. We're going to wait. What was in here? Oh, I already got this one. Haha. <laughs> We've got upward wind. It's a little bothersome. What if we start by... Yeah, okay. That's probably how we start. Oh yeah, we've got Shadowline showing us how to do everything. Oh, we have to redirect while in... Uh, well, obviously. Maybe we can buffer that dash. Because we diagonal up into it and then... Why is there a wooden platform here? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We are coming. Oh, we're turning around. And then here's the end. Unless there's something after it. So we get the wall bounce, and then we hit it, and then we do an ultra immediately. And then we're over here. We dash up right into here. Dash, dash, jump, grab, back boost. And then, do we have to dash diagonally or straight? That restarts shadow line. Straight. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Straight, and then we turn around. And then we turn around again. And then we just go twice into this in the back boost. And then probably a diagonal up to here. Yeah. And then an ultra. No. 
Oh, it looks like probably a, a, an Ultra into a Goltra. Is this a... That's a double crystal on the ground. Why would we want a double crystal on the ground? Hmm. I'll just mash dash and see what happens. But I imagine we'd want to use... Wait, can we... Do we just go sailing straight into the dream block and can use both of these inside the dream block or do we have to use one before? Because if we have to use one before, why is it a double crystal? Why is it a... Why is it a... Oh. Well, I don't get it. We'll find out. Anyway, let's go. Yay, I'm so good. All right, not the worst. Feels pretty slow though. That's more like it. Threw it way too early. Ah, got an okay start. I gotta catch the jellyfish again, I guess. The jellyfish is going up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> I guess that's why we have the upward wind. Man, doing a back boost one way, then a back boost the other way. I guess I did that in the previous room, didn't I? Man, there's so much left and right. There's so much left and right in a row. Just gotta get used to the button combinations. Okay, that was... Right, now just do it faster. Oops. <laughs> Okay, got the jump. Hmm. Somehow I'm not getting high enough. I should get high enough though, right? I'm getting a... I'm just chucking it and then going immediately. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not getting high enough. Got it. Didn't go in the right spot. I'm I'm too high, I think. Because Shadowline just goes straight into it, right? No, I'm wrong. All right, so I think it's easier the faster I go. So if I go really fast out of that, um, out of this dream block, and I get all the back boosts as late as possible, then I should be able to reach it just fine. And same for, same for the part that I almost got to. This part right here at the beginning is very frustrating I cannot consistently get this wall bounce. Made it this far. Dashed up into it. Man, you really gotta mash the dash button in these. All right, I made it to here and now I have a purple. Dang it. Oh, I, I just got a thing for going in there. Okay, I know I haven't been playing much today and I didn't beat a single room, but I am getting kind of tired. I'm playing this later in the day than I usually do. And uh, I've decided I'm gonna save more attempts for tomorrow. See you then. Day four, this room is gonna get me. It's this spot right here. It is insane. So right here, what I think we have to do is, I'm, I have a guess. I don't know if this is true or not, but I have a guess, is that if you buffer this dash, then the order of operations will make you dash and then get the double crystal. Then you'll be inside here with the double crystal because that's the only thing that makes sense to me for how this will work. But yeah, this part right here, oh my God, what you have to do is you have to double dash, grab back boost, dash upright, Dash, dash, jump, dash, down, right, dash to buffer, then you're in here, you dash twice more, and you jump. That is insane. I could see myself being stuck here for days, or I could see myself beating it today, but this, so many, this is, you have to do the buttons faster here than in Mosaic Garden. Especially with these, with no dash cooldown in here, it's just press the dash button as fast as you can. It's like, dash, dash, blah, 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 blah. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, wow! No way! I almost did it. Also, I'm having a problem where my uh, my dash button is getting stuck in the controller. 
Man, I wear out these controller gaskets like nothing. I, mean, I should just like buy a thousand, a thousand button gaskets in a bulk pack. And so I don't have to keep buying new controllers. Dang it, went the wrong way. Hey, I, I did it. I didn't get the ultra though. Wait a minute. Is there even an ultra on the other side of this? I thought you had to ultra out of this. No, I guess, I guess there's no ultra on the other side of this. You just go. There's a platform up here for some reason. <laughs> I guess if we want to, no, we can't get there. Maybe if we zoom in from the next screen. Yeah, I thought there was an ultra after this, but apparently not. Just jump out. No! Oh, I did it, come on. Yes! <laughs> I didn't even do perfect because I didn't jump out of the last one. Wow! I wasn't thinking I was gonna do this. This was gonna be the room that ruined my strawberry jam playthrough. I was gonna have to give up on this room. <laughs> but I managed to do it even with a controller as breaking. Ultimatum. And I'm gonna do this one. Wait. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it, but I'm gonna do it another day. Okay, those back boosts were insane. I did not expect myself to be able to do back boosts and button input density like that. And by the end, it was crazy. At the beginning, I was just like flopping my, hand, my thumb over the buttons as fast as I possibly could. By the end, I was deliberately pressing them the right number of times in the right order. That is the power of muscle memory. That is the power of practice. All right, let's watch. I'm glad for Shadowline because this makes it easier to tell what to do. Wait, did she back boost? Yeah, yeah. So going back and forth through these and then back through it again. Probably another back, but just back and forth. There's another jellyfish right here. It'll be interesting to see whether we want to pick this one up on the way there or on the way back. And then, yeah, probably just going all the way through here after that jellyfish. All right, let's take a look at that again. Go through here, just as expected, back and forth. Grab, back boost, back and forth, grab, back boost. Go, coming back this way, back boost. We grab it on the way there, and then we jump and we grab it. And looks like we grab it and uh, we're holding the jellyfish as we go over here. Okay, and how far is it? It's far. All right, it's exactly the distance it needs to be to be a reasonable challenge. All right, this doesn't look like anything new. It also doesn't look uh, too much harder. Like, what is it? There's one block with a double crystal. Then we just go back and forth and back. And we grab this on our way here. We just, uh, so we're, is that a, a Goltra into those things? It might be. So yeah, we might Goltra again after hitting this jellyfish. And then we just jump. Oh, didn't get to see it. We jump and hold, hold the, the jellyfish that we left behind from the first time. All right, doesn't seem as bad as the previous room, but I'm going to leave it off for now. All right, well, the internet informs me that this is halfway through the level, and I am astonished at how few days it has taken. What is this, expert lobby? But yeah, before we go back to the, uh, before we go, before we finish off for today, I want to head off in this, dang it. It's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me. I wanted to see if I could get to that floating island in the sky. Oh well. Well, yeah, that's okay. That is gonna be it for today. So remember that the nominations are open on Patreon. If you wanna see what, if you wanna determine what mod I play, 
between the cracks and the heart sides. It will be open for another couple videos. Uh, I, I mean, it'll be open until next video, is what I mean. This is your last chance. So, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Celeste Strawberry Jam and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.